Hi, in today's video, I want to speak to you about the sanders, the longboard sanders that I had made oh, a couple weeks ago. I have an earlier video showing you how to make these. Okay, I want to make sure you're able to see it. This one is, I believe, two and three quarter inch, and this one's four and a half inch wide. And I showed you how to make those. I used them a little bit, but I ended up with a problem that I'm going to fix in today's video. So actually, there's a couple things I want to show you about them. Number one, if you recall, what I used for sandpaper was this roll of sandpaper, okay? And it's just a regular old, you, you put out how much you want, cut it, and then what I did was I used the 3M spray glue. And what I did was I sprayed it you need to wait oh probably 10 minutes or so for it to get tacky and once it gets tacky then you would take the sandpaper don't know where i just put it and unroll it put it on there and cut it to size that's what i did last time and that worked pretty good but it's time consuming so first of all what i did was i went out and i bought some of this sandpaper, roll of sandpaper. I got this from Hamilton Marine. Hamilton Marine. <laughs> uh, great place. I hadn't been there. I've always uh, gone to uh, Portland. I believe they call it Portland Marine. Uh, downtown Portland, Maine. But this place here had a lot more stuff, it seemed like to me. And so I took off the paper. And let's see, there's a little piece of... There we go. And the nice thing about this is, it's a roll, but it's self-adhesive. Ooh. So, I'm going to be using the self-adhesive tape, in fact, today, because I want to uh, work on sanding down my boat. Probably the last day I'll be able to get to do it, because the way the weather has been out there. So, that was one thing. Actually, I got two rolls. That one there was, oh boy, I should not take the paper off it. This was, that one there was 60 grit and I want something to really get into my work. This one here should be 40 grit I believe. Yes, this is a, a 40 grit. So I'm going to have to keep those papers. I'll probably tape them on the inside so I don't lose them. And wow, how do you get into it? That's the question. So, 60 grit and 40 grit, and what I'll do is I'll probably do this, no, I was going to say I'll do it off camera, but I think I just got it, oh, I'm ripping it all to heck. Yeah, I'll take this one apart off camera, but I'm going to put some of this one on in a little while. So, that's one situation. The other one I got is, if you notice the sandpaper, what are you noticing? All of the sanding has been done mostly here and here. Why isn't it here and on the ends? Well, I think the reason is I've got it so flimsy that when I'm pushing on it, okay, or pushing on it like this here, all the pressure is here and here, but not here. The thing is, I think it's too flimsy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it sturdier by adding another piece of wood, another layer on here. And then we'll try it. So in order to do that, you can see how the glue is already coming off this thing. I need to get this thing off. That 3M does work good. <laughs> need to get this off, okay. And we'll save that for later. And what I do now is I am going to re-glue it. How am I going to do that? Well, this is what I used last time. My PL3 plus glue from Loctite. I love this stuff. This is how I put all the frames of my boat together. As a matter of fact, that's what held it all together. There we go. Now this one here had dried up. I'm hoping it's going to have some, some good juice left in it. Got to move the camera over, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna glue you. Hopefully, I won't glue the camera. There. 
Either way, I'm getting a, <laughs> a null on the screen. So I'm going to glue that with this. And, and like I always say, be sure you're wearing gloves. <laughs> I always think of that once I get started with a job. Oops, and that's why. Okay. Whoops. I am making such a mess of this. So let's turn this around. Do do do. Ooh. I thought I really I always think I'll be able to do it without getting glue all over me. <laughs> Guess what? I'm always wrong when I think that way. Well, at least I was this time. But this stuff, I've done a, a video on it in the past. You can go back and see it. It actually glues things stronger than the actual wood. I'm very impressed with how it works. Let's see, where can I put some of this? Extra. Well, let's not call it extra yet. Uh, let me see. How about if I just put it over here and use another one for now? And uh, that's what they make jackets for, right? <laughs> it says glue off. Yeah, so now I'll use this one. I want to make sure I got it on every bit because I want this wood to stick really well. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Now the problem is I'm hoping it's not going to take forever to glue because it is extremely cold down here. So what I'm going to do now is take this piece and let's see if we can get them both on Oops, just right. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Uh -huh. So now, I'm just going to, let's see, I want to make sure this thing sticks really well, so what I'm going to do is put it here on the corner. Let's see. Oh, geez, I got the glue, let me glue, mess with the glue over there, and the mess with the glue over there. And I'm out of paper towels. Oh, here's a... Oh, dirty rag I got here. So let's get this. Get that off there. You want to make sure there's no glue on your table because then you're going to have this thing glued to the table. And of course this is already leaking. Or should I say still leaking. Ooh. Got a big goo of it and it would be like me to wipe my nose with it. <laughs> I usually do big goofs like that. So what I'm going to do is put this right over here, get it nice and straight, and then, let's see, pull this out here, and then go like this. There we go. Uh-huh.
course it does slide a little bit so I'm gonna to have to go back on and go back and rearrange it the thing about boat building you can never have enough clamps right <laughs> Okay, so let's see, I'm going to kind of stagger them, one over there, one over here, one over there. That looks pretty straight. That looks pretty straight. Oops. That looks pretty straight. Ooh, glue on me again. And that over there. And we'll put this one over here. Looking beautiful. One more. Yeah, perfect. Now we just gotta wait for that to dry and we'll be all set. Um, now the other thing I wanted to do is put some of that paper on this one. You can see this one here also, I'm gonna probably do the same thing with it but because uh, it's mostly in the middle, but it's getting a little bit more space. Now, unfortunately, this one here, what I had to do is put the paper on in two strips because uh, I don't have paper that's wide enough. I need to get four inch paper. When I bought that roll, by the way, I thought it was a four inch paper. Surprise, to my surprise, it was not. Okay, this piece is giving me difficult to come off. So I'm going to probably do the same thing with this one is I'm going to uh, put it on and then I'm going to probably splice it right down the middle. So let's see if I can figure out how to get this one open like I did earlier. Aha! Uh -huh. So maybe I can go lightly. I don't want to cut through the paper. There we go. Always a way around it, isn't it? Aha, uh -huh, there we go. And it's pretty rough stuff. Not having fingernails isn't easy to good either. Okay, put that there. And now, let's see how we can get this going. I'm going to move this on my lap. It's done here now. Okay. So I'm going to move this on my lap. I'm going to get the right amount right about up to there. So right here, I'm going to cut it off. Oops. And what I do is take that knife. Okay. okay. Let's see if I get that. There we go. And Paper down there. Are we ready? To, ready again? <laughs> and let's see how this will work. It should just peel right off. Oh, look at that, huh? There we go. And I'm going to get one more piece. You're not going to see me here for a second. 
unfortunately I got disconnected uh, right during recording that so let me show you what I finally came up with I made a second strip so we got two of them you can see the line right down there in the middle and all I need to do is well depending on how nice I want it to look is cut off the additional paper and it looks great there sure this isn't too good for my scissors blade but <laughs> these are my fiberglass scissors in a way and yeah it looks great I'm just kind of a, a perfectionist for this kind of stuff so I like to have it look pretty when I'm doing it <laughs> oh boy but you know I think I'll, I'll work on this later on but uh, for the most part there we go we're all set to sand and I'm gonna bring it outside see how this does this is the 40 grit so just as a recap we have this one all set where is it this one all set being glued for the next time and we have this one with another piece of paper on it and uh, ready to sand let's go see how it does the nice thing about this stuff is it goes on it stays on right away so here we are another beautiful day it's actually 55 degrees so it's really nice there's the paper I just put some new a new skim coat on the whole thing actually going through this pretty good this is really coarse I think I'm going to do a light coating with this and then go to a probably the 60 or even an 80 grit That's it uh, for the long boards. My little alteration. If you want to see how I actually built these, I will leave the link uh, probably somewhere here at the top so you can click on it and see how we actually made these in part one. So here's a quick update on my smaller of the two long boards. This one here is the one that was two and uh, three quarter inches. I actually did glue, as you can see, I glued an additional layer on and I got it back on there and you can see it's actually a lot less flexible than it was so now when I'm doing it this should stay a lot more and it should sand more evenly and this one here I'm putting the I believe this is a 60 I don't know where I put it but I believe this is a 60 grit sandpaper what is this yes yeah, 60 and in comparison to the 40 grit that I put on my big sander there we go is that going to stay? <laughs> so there we go this one here is lock and loaded and ready to go this has uh, 40 grit sandpaper. It was that simple with the peel. Now, uh, another update. Yesterday, I went and, hold on, I put the 80 grit sandpaper. This is the one I just did on my big one. And uh, that was great. I went out there and started sanding in the boat. You saw me in the video. Problem is, okay, the 40 grit sandpaper is a lot coarser than I thought it would be. I figured since I had just put a skim coat, it would knock all the basic, the lumps off of the skim coat and that would be fine. 
uh, but where I had a lot of a curve there towards the bow and I went in the this is so coarse that it not only went through the skim coat but it went all the way down into the uh, resin into the uh, fiberglass so I had to do quite a bit to sand out with my finest sandpaper what this did so I'm not going to be using the 40 grit on uh, the basic parts of the boat and if I put something really heavy duty I need to knock down fine but so I won't be using this as much it's way too coarse so be careful if you're thinking of using 40 grit to uh, smooth things down real fast it will but it'll probably go a lot deeper than what you'd like so there you go that's my final addition to the longboards thanks for watching Always appreciate having you along for the journey, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.